last week, my dad was watching my vlog and he asked my mom, Why does Sam make the bed at the start of every vlog? So this one's for you, dad. It's my first time buying a few tops and bottoms from Taobao. Let's see if these fit. So I've been on Pinterest looking for summer outfit inspo and I've been drawn to this particular style top where it's white, it's got a large floral corsage, very Cara Bradshaw, very sex in the city. So I didn't want to buy a designer one. I wanted to find something that was a little cheaper. So I ended up buying three floral tops from Taobao. I wasn't very sure about sizing since everything is in Chinese and I need to use Google Translate. I ended up buying a few tops just to try to see if I even could get the sizing correct. First one is this dusty blue floral number. I really like this one because it has this rose on the front and on the straps there is that floral detail as well. I bought this in a size medium. Honestly, this fits more like a small because when you wear it, there's this hole and if your bust is larger, it gapes open and it's not very flattering. So I'm gonna probably give this to a petite friend of mine. The first one was clearly a failure, but the second one I really liked. It is this spandex top. It's got one shoulder, but what I like about it is that the corsage is strong on the strap and it can be moved and adjusted accordingly so that you can wear this top multiple ways. I'm gonna show you on screen the number of ways that you can wear it. Normally, I'm very skeptical about multi-wear tops, but I really like the way that um, this top was styled. You can wear strapless, you can wear it with one strap, you can wear it without the rose, with the rose. So I think it's really cool the way that they styled it. I like this material as well because it's super breathy and easy to wear, and I think it'll be comfortable to wear on hot summer days. This one I also got in a size medium and it fits true to size. Thank you. 
top is my favorite out of the three. This one took about two weeks to make because it was on back order. It's called Fan Fan Online Shop. I don't know if she's an influencer or whatever, but this top is really pretty. It's a white halter neckline with this flower at the top, these cord straps. At the back, there's a zipper and it's ruched so that there's a bit of like textural detail when you wear it. Honestly, when I wear it, I feel like it does look like bunched up tissue paper, but anyway, it's a vibe, right? I think this looks really good with a pair of jeans for days if I ever go to Bali or for date nights that are fancier than us staying at home. But I really love this top and I think this will look great for years to come, even if this trend passes. The hemline is also not linear, so it curves back. I'm gonna show you some B-roll anyway, so you can see what it looks like, because I feel like a lot of these pieces have to be worn on body for you to fully understand the fit of it. And last but not least, I did try getting a pair of pants, my first pair of pants on Taobao. I love this brand and how this uh, influencer or girl styles her clothes. My friend bought this gray cardigan from the same brand and this was a size small. So I thought if this was size small, which obviously fits like an oversized medium, that the clothing sizes couldn't be too far off for my body size. I really do love those high-waisted trousers. So I bought a pair of high-waisted pants in this grige material. I ended up buying a size large, but I think it's a little too tight, especially at the inseam, it kind of rides up my crotch. Also, I feel like the uh, pant length isn't long enough for that very casual laid back look because I do feel like these need to be oversized to look good. And the last item in my haul is not clothing related, but I got these uh, Japanese inspired creme caramel serving platters. I don't know what you call these, these little dishes. I saw that the seller had styled it with like creme caramel custard and fruit. So I just bought two of them just cause I thought they were just so adorable. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little shopping haul. 50-50 success rate there. So I guess it was good for my very first time. If you guys know of a shop that sells uh, wide leg trousers for UK size 10, hit me below in the comments section. Hit me down below in the comments, something like that, whatever, you, you know the drill. birthday. Where are we going for dinner? I have a good idea. Which? Sense. Which place? Just say it then. Something, a lot of food. Like a lot, a lot. Like where? In King Hopewell Center. <laughs> Is that where you're going? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Happy birthday. Thanks. We are 
are back in Macau in less than a week because my parents want to come. So we are just staying here for one night. So tomorrow we're off to Japan for a week and we've been planning this trip for about two months now. We're going to do a road trip and it's one of my dreams to drive in Japan and we're actually going to do it this time. 
So for a week's trip, I usually bring all the stuff here to create content, photography, or video. So we have our Mavic Mini 3 Pro with the remote controller. We have the battery charging hub. We have my MacBook Pro 16 inch. We have my phone, the X360, and my Canon R5 camera. So in front of me, I have all these cables, charging hubs, to charge my phone, my two laptops, and I've actually got this case here that hopefully fits everything in this case I got in Japan. So usually I pack at least two USB-C cords in case one fails me. So I have backup, a MacBook, two of these ones, which has a USB-C, lightning, and micro in case I need stuff to charge all at once. And they're all at least two meters long. And then I have the original iPhone cables to charge my MacBook, I mean my iPhone for USB-C or USB outlets, all three at once at the same time. And then just in case, a backup backup, a USB-C or USB-C to C cable. A card reader adapter hub. And then I have three R5 batteries for my camera. And then an adapter for four USB hubs here. And then recently I got this one, which is a adapter as well, but I can charge two of the same MacBooks at one time. A drone battery charger, 360 camera, my Canon battery charger.